Beth Saida means House of the Fisherman, which seems a funny name for the ancient village because it's situated four kilometres away from Lake Galilee. This has led some scholars to rethink the meaning of Beth Saida, calling it the House of the Hunt. And indeed, hunting in the hills surrounding Beth Saida was very good. However, during excavations of the village, numerous fishing tools, lead weights for nets, anchors, needles and fishing hooks were found, attesting to an economy based on fishing. Some archaeologists believe that over hundreds of years, silt and debris deposits from the upper reaches of the Jordan, along with earthquakes in the area, have caused the foreshore of Lake Galilee to recede. So the village that once stood on the foreshore now stands four kilometres inland. This fits in with the meaning of its name, House of the Fisherman. The history of Beth Saida village dates back to the 10th century BC. Originally, it was a small settlement in the Geshur Kingdom. The Bible tells us that Joshua and his army were unable to depose the Canaanites who occupied this area. The kingdom remained a strong force right up to King David's reign. David then married the local king's daughter in an effort to peacefully incorporate the Geshur Kingdom into his own. After the reign of King David, the village fell into decline. The Romans eventually took control of the area around 40 BC, and the village was placed under the jurisdiction of Herod the Great, and in turn, his son Philip inherited it. According to the first century historian Josephus, Philip made Caesarea Philippi his capital and developed Bethsaida into a seaside trading centre. He renamed it Julius in honour of Julia Livia, wife of the Emperor Caesar Augustus and adopted mother of the then reigning Emperor Tiberius. However, the name didn't stick. Three of Jesus' disciples, Philip, Peter and Andrew, grew up here However, Peter and Andrew moved to Capernaum to live with Peter's mother-in-law and establish a fishing co-op with James, John and their father, Zebedee. The fishing was better at Capernaum because of its location, adjacent to the warm water springs, which attracted the fish. Jesus passed through Bethsaida on several occasions. The Gospel writer, Dr. Luke, stated that the feeding of the 5,000 Jewish men and their families occurred not far from here. Jesus also performed a few miracles here, in particular, healing a blind man. Sadly, Jesus grew increasingly frustrated with the residents of Bethsaida for their lack of repentance. He declares, Woe to you, Bethsaida! If the miracles that were performed here were performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago. Not much was left of the ancient city after the Romans came and decimated the place during the first Jewish revolt in 66 to 70 AD. Since then, the village has lain in ruins and remains a good example of how a first century community was laid out. The ruins are also a reminder for us today of our need to open our eyes to Jesus' miracles, listen carefully to what He has to say, and to repent from our worldly ways. Mm -hmm.